Greetings and welcome to From the Basement. In this episode, we're going to go over and refine the quest. Now, at the moment, the quest is largely playable, except for this one glaring mistake right over here that I shall talk about in a moment. But it's not the best it can be. Uh, just like any creative medium, your first draft is never going to be the draft you actually want to publish. You're going to want to go over it, refine it, fine-tune the placement of encounters and items to make sure it's the best that you can put forward. So we're going to start off by doing a walkthrough on this, but first I want to take a real quick moment to talk about this chest here. This is the rewards chest. It's going to automatically be put in the first room that you place in your quest, which of course was this room here. Unless your first room is also happens to be the room where you end the quest, don't leave it here. Now, if you remember from the previous video, after I fi finished the encounter, I would have had to have run all the way back through an empty dungeon to pick up my reward. That's going to irritate the heck out of your players. You don't want to do that to them. Okay, so let's see here. Refinement. Well, the first thing I can spot right off the bat is I don't have a campfire in here. Again, that's sort of another convenience factor for your players. Uh, you, you want to you know, make your dungeon fun for them to play, it's really not much fun if someone comes into a dungeon expecting to have a campfire from the start and there isn't and they're half dead. Players generally assume that there's going to be a campfire present. So let's um, let's go ahead and switch to edit mode here. Special. Now the campfire, counterintuitively enough, is called respawn point. Put it off to the side there. Now that's different from this thing, which is your spawn point, respawn point. The respawn is your campfire. All right, and looking in this room, is there anything else? This room's a little bit on the barren side. I think I'm gonna come over here to the details and grab some rubble. Let's grab another dungeon pile to put in here. Give this room a little bit uh, better texture. A little bit more going on. Actually, I think I'll just make this corridor here. Yeah, let's see here. Place this a little bit better and rotate it. And move that back a little bit. There we go. All right, so I just had a little bit more here. Oop, and that means I'm gonna need to move my uh, camp here, campfire. So let's move the campfire over to here. Okay, so it's enough tweaking on this room. Moving on to here, this is a fairly short hallway, so I don't think we need to have much except for maybe, again, sort of really trying to go with this whole, you know, ruins theme here. Now we come into here. Uh, notice in edit mode, they do not attack, even though I have normal combat on. And it looks like I lost my placement around the campfire, so let's grab them and put these guys around the campfire like they're supposed to be. And again, I'm using uh, hotkeys to toggle between these. Q is for translate, E is for rotate, and R is the uh, snap to floor option. And I generally prefer using the hotkeys. You can, of course, use the buttons up here to switch. All right, so we got them gathered around the campfire. Now, it might make sense if this was like a little kobold layer that there might be some beds, maybe. Uh, let's see here, and we need some more. We need some more rubble. Definitely always need more rubble. A pile there. Oops, and I need to make sure that that pile is not going to stick through the wall here. Yep, okay, good, not sticking through the wall. And 
I don't think bed is going to work. Yeah, that this does not. Ah, oh, here we go. This works pretty good. Just a simple hay bed on the floor. And put these over here in the corner. We'll put three beds. Now, of course, kobolds aren't going to be sleeping with beds that nice, neat, and orderly. So I'm going to. Yep. Rotate them so that way they're not so perfectly lined up. There we go. And again, I'm going to leave this room alone now. Now, I would actually normally continue on here. This room still feels kind of empty, kind of generic. Doesn't really feel like a spot where the kobolds are chilling out and living. But uh, I don't want this to drag on too long. So moving on. Let me get my rubble back here. Never have too much rubble. Dungeon hallway. Now, obviously, I don't want to block this off. So let's drag this back a little bit. Oop, wrong rotate, control Z. This is the one thing. Do not be afraid to embed objects in the wall. That looks a little bit odd with this torch sticking out, but I can't really do too much about that, so we'll leave it like that. And again, our goal here is to try and make this dungeon, you know, break up the lines, not have just constant straight lines uh, for the player. Let's see, we already had that there. Yes, we do, but... Hmm, what do we got? Clear out that search, and let's take a look at dungeon. And building, nope. Building pieces, nope. Debris, nope. And I got a maze pillar, that doesn't really look good. Ah, here we go, this kind of makes fits the texture. Let's drag this in. Ooh, that thing is huge. Um, I can still work with that. Yeah, that's way too big, but what we can do is cheat. Smoke and mirrors, if I can hit the right key here. Drag it down. And rotate it. And translate it a little bit more. There we go. Now it doesn't look quite so massive. And it breaks up that pile a little bit. And I can do the same thing with this. The regular movement here. And... Rotates. Oop. Wrong item. Again, just sort of break up the lines a little bit here. Now it might... Yeah, that should be good. Alright, so we broke that up a little bit. Now we've got these guys here just sort of chilling out in the middle which doesn't look all that good. So actually, let's take this dungeon maze piece here, pop it in, rotate it. Now, in the center there, it shows me how many degrees I've got this rotated. So I want to rotate this 90 degrees, which is a little bit difficult. go. That 
minutes. And we'll collapse in over here. We'll do another collapsed hallway. Let's see here, take off our dungeon and search for rubble again. And again, I think that's all I'm going to do to this room. Again, you sort of, you get the point. At the, you, you get the idea behind the process at this point. Uh, you go through, um, you take a look at you know, what's going on, and try to make your dungeon to feel a little bit more lived in. Like just having these guys chilling in the middle of the floor, eh, it's not the best. Um, but rather than you spend any more camera time on it, I'm going to keep on going here. This is an easy fix. We'll drag in another rubble pile. Drag in a large this one here. All right, we got this one. Do we have what kind of statues do we got? Crypt statues, but these things tend to be really. No, oh, no, this one's a 12 foot tall statue. So we can get some ominous foreboding here, statues here. I have no idea why we've got two, uh, control C, control V. Why we've got two skull statues here, but we do. Uh, ooh, no, see this, this one's huge, 25, 25 by 26. I drag this sucker in here and bam -o. Unfortunately, we have no scale option, and scale is one thing you cannot change. Yeah, it's not going to work. Yeah, 16 foot tall drow statue. We'll let that one take up the whole spot there. No particular reason, other than just not wanting empty corners. And we'll go ahead and leave this as is. Probably should put something over here. That's Control C, Control V. Let's just put a bunch of barrels. Control V. This is their storage room. All right, good enough. Uh, like I said, I would actually normally continue this process quite a bit more than what I am doing. Uh, there's just one last thing up here. Let's see here. That's okay. Cringe. I can't leave that alone. Um, debris. I have a small collapsed hallway here. Yeah, it's not really small, but. Yep, okay, and if you make a lot of edits while playing, it's going to warn you this could start impacting performance. And I'm just going to hit escape to make it go away, because apparently clicking on it didn't work. There you go, make that spot look suitably collapsed in. Uh, there's one last thing I want to point out here. I'm going to leave this spot largely alone. Um, okay, there you guys are. Remember, they didn't initially appear because I'm not on the quest stage for them yet. And see, so it's this uh, scroll right here. Right click for properties. Now, currently, this is called scroll 2. When the player goes to interact with this, it's actually going to show that name scroll 2 which is horribly tacky 
Um, if you're going to have the player interact with something, do not leave the default name in there. It's just, it doesn't look good. Breaks, immersion, all sorts of bad things. So I'm going to call this the scrolls. I know, horribly uninventive name, but it's better than scroll zero two. All right, and that's pretty much it as far as what I can do in edit mode. Let's go ahead and return to Foundry. All of those changes, of course, are going to remain in place. And before I forget, I need to grab that treasure chest, that rewards chest. Oops. Yeah, and you can't put in the void, so I have to like hold down the left mouse button and the middle drag at the same time. And I'll put the rewards chest over here in this corner. Rotate it. And remember, I need to set the uh, the Y value. So this would be 40.0 or 40.1. Call it boxable treasure. Keep expectations low. Okay, and that's pretty much it as far as refining. Now, as I've said a couple of times, you would normally want to carry this process a lot further. I could do a lot more with this room. Uh, definitely could do a lot more with here. This room right here needs a lot of work. It feels very empty, like the sole purpose for this room to exist is for these four guys standing in the middle. Uh, you would really want to go back and rework this room to try and make it feel better. Um, and beyond that, I don't think there's anything. Oh, and I, did I put my respawn point in there? Yes, I did. Okay. And so as a final test run, we would want to play through this, which I'm not going to take camera time to do that. And so the uh, next uh, video is going to be, uh, how do we get this published? So until the next video.